external economies so external economies means it is applicable to the large scale industries heavy industries big industries better industries why they can expand the, their industries forms what is the reason so many reasons are there the following the reasons we can must find that one it tells that one first is economies of centralization <coughs> economies are centralization means what that they can maintain place and a transport transport facilities and a skillful labor they can appointed skillful labor they can take help of the science and technology they appointed experienced persons they maintain management and uh, not only that one they are purchasing plenty of raw material at a time to cheaper rate so when you are control the reduce in the cost what will happen the firm will be get the use profit one of the one of the advantages and uh, moreover we maintain the so many facilities we are providing the insurance and uh, so many things so that is the reason the large scale industry will be expand the their branches and uh, forms and uh, like a large scale immediately they can making the intermediate goods they can making semi finished goods and a uh, final good arts because with they are maintaining all the facilities place transport insurance raw materials and the skillful labor when which type of industry when they are going to maintain this kind of things they automatically they are going to get the use profit so without from that among the whatever times told that one that is transport we don't have the good transport we don't have the skillful labor we don't have right place right persons we can't reach anything we have a goal to produce the maximum production productivity but without the things without the elements can you make it no impossible so that's what i'm saying that one which organization they are going to maintain like this kind of elements they are achieve the their goals go for the next one economies of information economies information economies information means what we are taking the expand the industries of many collectivity of cooperation and the information gathering that one example i am saying newspaper generals they are giving this scientific and uh, commercial information industries information scientific information how to develop the industries we are collecting the news from the not only newspaper but also magazines and i take the help of and the uh, i mean internet and everything also they can develop uh, their forms they can collect the information of the different different of newspapers and the uh, things also suppose other countries we are going to making innovation goods according to consumers hobbits habituals so they can take the help of other countries information only how can they developed 
why we are going to developing what is the reason okay we take we we collect the proper information that is a possibility of the economics go over the last thing is economics of specialization what do you mean by specialization becomes a possible to spell of the process of which i would take over the specialized form means for instance of this cotton mill they how this they located of the place and a time and a separate calculating plants manufacturing plants so everything we maintain that one specialization nothing but the making the product we making goods and product output they how can you better give to the market according to competitors we have the different type of competitors available in this market that too how much we are better giving to when you are compare with the other competitor so that's what we maintain the specialization only like a cotton cotton mill cotton industry we want to workers we want to different types of machineries place climate everything also okay these are the types of internal and the external economics understood so go for the next topic is supply is yes. what do you mean by supply generally in market not only market in definition generally people they are saying supply supply what do you mean by supply offer goods and services to the public a various price level offers that sit amount of offer of sale given a price when you offer the sales at a giving price we many define the supply the schedules are there we have the schedules and the goods are there it is possible to that one and uh, instant timing during this one period of another period one time of other time we can offer to the sales to in the market simply what do you mean by sales means offers goods and services at a given price offered goods and services at given price that is the supply remaining thing is constant just other thing is limited supply means producer making the goods they show this market this is my goods they are showing not only they are showing the goods but also they are maintaining they are clearly maintaining price this is a good it is a marker it is a product they are clearly mentioned in this price that is called sale offered goods at a giving the price that is called sale we have the sale schedule or there the sale schedule showing showing that one the relationship between i mean to say supply demand and a price supply and a income and sometimes price also price also other thing is constant other thing is our constant 
what is the schedule they are maintaining the going to that one supply schedule let me discuss about that supply of function supply of function supply means offered a good at a different level of prices okay so supply relationship between what is the relationship between supply it is that input price income taste technology so many thing we are going to consider that one it is that one present the we have the formula that is we can show that one qx qx is equals to f of px py and uh, t next is g and uh, like they are giving this one so what is the indicated that one what is the indicated qx or q qx it is indicate quantity of goods of goods what is the next one px products price what is py incomes okay t technology these are the thing we are going to that one g means goals what's that goals so we can prove that one and uh, gp is there g1 is there government policies are there we can show that one g2 also it is consider g1 g2 government government policies okay what is the last one is f f means functional relation ship functional relationship this is the supply of function so the supply of function including that one quantity and a price and a price of and an extra taste goals government policies and a functional relationship so we have the formula of the supply if supply is increasing what will happen demand is also increasing if supply is increasing price also increasing vice versa okay then we can show this like a table before that one we know that we have the determination of the supply next topic is determination of supply so we have the some determination so what is the relationship between supply of commodity determinations and uh, first is price of a good price of a good next is price of a 
related goods related goods